Hello you wonderful fantastic people, hope you're all having a brilliant day. So I had a random thought earlier, and it's one that's quite interesting. And yeah, it's not going to make sense to a lot of people, but it certainly makes sense to me. And that is, what do we do if someone's tailgating us? Now, um, let me preposition this for some of you might not have heard the term tailgating. I'm sure that's not many of you, but someone might not have heard it, so... Tailgate is when someone gets a little bit too close behind you. So they usually say a good following distance is about two seconds in the dry, about four seconds in the wet, um, and even longer in the ice, snow, whatever. Now, someone, for whatever reason, might be following you at one second, and obviously that means if you, if you were to hit the brakes or have an accident, they're going to go into the back of you, and it's not going to be pretty. So that's... A brief overview of what tailgating is and um, I'm gonna go over just why it's done just in a second so mainly um, the biggest thing with motorcycles or maybe the smallest thing is our profile you've got to imagine that car at a certain point looks so big now our people that are following behind us trying to make us as big as that car in their view and if that's true they're going to be a bit close behind us so maybe it's not out of spite that they're doing it maybe it's not because they're trying to make us speed up but maybe it's because they don't know better and guess that goes into everything what can we do in that situation well First things first, let's not brake check them. Brake check them, you're making them, you know, put on the rankers, but if they're, you know, the sort of person who's oblivious to the fact that you might be bigger than a car, or might be smaller than a car, so you, the closer that you are that, so the bigger you appear to them, the closer you are, is that a person that's not gonna understand braking distance so you jam on the brakes straight into the back of you which let's face it is not ideal so that's number one why it happens number two question has got to be what can we control so obviously in a crazy world we can slow down to about 10 miles an hour, accelerate up to 70, they're not getting anywhere near us, but in a 30 mile an hour zone, is that something that's reasonable? At motorway speeds, is that something that's reasonable? And I think the honest answer is going to be no, that's not reasonable at all, because either we're going too slow when we slow down to create our gap, or two, we're going too fast. Um, we're going too fast to create as well. So we're going too slow to create the gap in front, but we're going too fast to create the gap in height behind. If some child or something runs out, we're going to hit them. And I don't want to run over a child on my conscience, to be honest. It's not ideal. So, that is the nuclear option, and obviously, as with most nuclear options, it's not the best solution. The best solution is just to not be mad at them. So, I know that I'm going to need more time to break, because I don't want to break sharply. So what I'm going to do is just ease off a bit, and let that car in front get a little bit further away so that the car so that I don't have to brake as hard to stop now you know many people might preposition this by flashing the brake lights and you know waving their arms telling people get the fuck back but 
Well, let's be honest, you're going to look a bit like a crazy person. And do we want to look like crazy people? Not really, because crazy people aren't listened to. And yeah. So that's my take on tailgating and what we should do, or what we shouldn't do, in a nutshell. If you've got any more, uh, you know, advice, tips or anything like that, you know, feel free. Drop a comment, say something, you know, hi, my name's Bob. When I got tailgated, I put an ice pick in his head and drove up. Don't say that, because you would definitely get arrested. <laughs> anyway, folks, um, I hope you have a good one. I'll catch you on the next one.